Okay, this is a Corbin M heart. It has six pins that need to be lifted to the shear line and rotated to the correct angle. Uh, the driver and key pins interlock with one another, and uh, by having the correct rotation, they're allowed to slide apart, um, and the, um, the driver pins will ride along channels in the uh, plug. Um, the problem is that uh, once you pick it, those key pins will fall down in the plug, and then when you turn the plug back, those key pins won't re-interlock with the driver pins. So what I like to do is put the key in, that'll rotate all the key pins the correct direction, and go back and forth a couple times. And I like to do this like three times just to make sure that all those um, all those pins have been re-interlocked. Then we'll go, and, and the key, I believe, should reset all the pins to be um, perpendicular as it falls off the end of the the key, but I don't know if that's true or not. So that's a nice centered position to start from. And if you didn't have the key, you could take a blank and just do the same thing. So I don't see it as a big advantage. Um, so that means each of the pins either have to be pushed to the left, centered, or pushed to the right. So if they're all centered, then I only need to move a little bit, right? To try a little bit of movement. Um, to find the right rotation. So the first one's binding, and it binds really high. So I'm going to lift it up, and it's just kind of mushed into place. I'm wondering if I'm pushing it with the tensioner. Let me back the tensioner out just a little. That's just the kind of the pick moving around because I have to come up here to actually set it. Okay, it mushed into place again. I I don't like the feeling of that. I'm going to try to rotate it some, maybe with this SS dev profile. Let off a lot of tension so that you can rotate it. And what I'm doing is I'm reaching under the pin and kind of grabbing the back facing of it and uh, rubbing the pick along it just to, to get a feeling and get it perpendicular. And then maybe rub it a little bit more to one side to get it to rotate, like I'll, I'll pull on the left side to get it to rotate right, and I'll pull on the right side to get it to rotate left. So let's see where I'm at on rotation. It looks like I have it a little bit to the right. And you're, I'm only going to be able to view the front one like that, unfortunately. The rest have to do strictly by feel and sound. All right, so lifting the first one again. It just mushes in. Very different than how I've been picking so far. My other two opens, it clicks in nicely into place. I'm lifting number two. Again, just kind of a mush in. I don't like it. Um, three is springy, four is springy, five is springy, six is binding. Click out of that at least. Five is springy, four, three. Three I think is zero lift and it feels like it's set. Now normally these would, I'd feel some bounce on them. Something just fell. I think two fell. I'm wondering if I'm having a hard time. I'm going to spin number one, 180. See if, <laughs> I don't think it matters, but maybe the other side gives me the better clicks. All right, I spun it 180. So let's give this a try again. One. What the heck, it just mushes, mushes into position. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's rotate it a little more. So that was kind of a left rotation. Let's try more of a right rotation. Oh, that's too much. I don't know exactly how far it looks right. Just kind of guessing. Um, all right, we'll lift number one again. Four minutes in and we're still working on the first pin. All right, a little bit of click. That's a little bit better. Uh, number two. Number two is binding a little bit harder than it was before. A little bit of a click out of two, that's nicer. All right, so I know that six was next. So three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is binding a lot harder. I think that was a click from six. Five is binding now. Click from five. Four is binding now. Now four I know is a really high lift behind the three, so I'll use this hook get to three, go under three, and try to lift four, which I've already I've already lifted four a little bit with hook one. 
So I just got a little bit more to go. There's a click on from four. And three is set. So I know all my pins are at the shear line now. So now I just gotta worry about rotation. Let's see. Start at the front. And this first one feels like it's jingling. Second one feels like a little bit of a jingle. Jingle. Let's get a thinner one in the back. Okay. There we go. Okay, I hear a kid coming down. And let's see. Six, five. Maybe it's. Can you hear that? I don't know what exactly I'm listening for, so let's go ahead and just do each pin. Six. Five. Four is way up there, so I don't know if I can even manipulate him. Three. Two. Two's up here. One. Let's go all the way back again. Six. Come on. I think that's six right there. Five here. See, yeah, they all sound like they're really loose, so I don't know what exactly I'm listening for. Unfortunately, so I'm mostly just trying to s feel if they feel like they're one way or the other. But I'm only touching like half the side of the pin, so it's really hard to know. Four. Every once in a while, I want to pull hard on the uh, tension because one of the opens, it was like I took the pick out and I was like, I don't know what to do, and I just pulled hard on the tension once and it was open. So. Like it, it just jumped that last little bit of rotation it needed to, like, <laughs> like that. Okay, so I pulled hard on the, the tension when I was touching uh, number two, and I got the open. So let's go ahead and gut this guy. Turn on the autofocus. Get down to where I'm going to move the light a little. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get a tray and we'll zoom in a little. There we go. So to start, we'll lock her back up. And actually, I'll make sure that the, the key pins are down so that when I lock it up, you'll see that how they were separate. Oh, actually, that's interesting. Look at that. Huh. Wonder what's causing that. Okay, oh, we won't lock her back up. Oops. Um, why am I doing it like this? Let's find out what's going on. All right, so it's unlocked. Sorry about this. Should have thought about it. Um, what we'll do is we will slide the top off and we want to make sure that we don't let these springs go flying. Okay, pin one is almost exposed. There's a number one and there's the driver for number one. Driver. Six, five, four, three springs. Driver for three. Oh, 
check the front door. Driver for four, five, and six. Okay, now I should be able to get the key pins out. Six, five, four, three, one, and two. So that's all the key pins. Um, we'll take this out. I don't know if this was the best gutting method to show you guys what's going on, but take that off. So you can see that the plug has these grooves around it, and when one of these driver pins, let's get some light over here. So when the driver pin you can see has that little thing on it, which is going to go and inter oh, drop the plug, I'll pick that up in a sec. It's going to interlock with this uh, key pin. You see the key pin has a slot in it and the driver pin has that. And now they're stuck together, you can't pull them apart, right? It's like a dovetail. So what's gonna happen is when you get, I got the plug again, when you get it up to the, the shear line, you then have to rotate this so that that slot gets matching with this thing sticking out on the driver, and then it can ride along this channel, right? And the key has this interesting shape to it where it has these like these cuts in the bottom, and that's because when you put the key in, come on, those cuts form a continuation, dang it, form a continuation of the channel for the, uh, the thing to write in. Because if it didn't, like let's say put that off like that, those would get stopped by the key. they get stuck, right? Um, and so that's, what is this, number six? So the key, you can see that the rotation on that is off when you put the key in. You see it rotates it to the right orientation. And when I pull the key out, you can see it's no longer, ro it's oriented to the flat way, and that la last one looks like a cut to the right, so. It messes up the rotation when you pull the key out. Um, anyways, that is the Corbin Emhart. Thanks.